Hello and welcome back to another video. So if you've been pretty much anywhere in the gaming space the last three or four years, you've probably heard of GTA 5 roleplay and seen its meteoric rise to popularity throughout the past couple years, easily hitting over hundreds of thousands of people at any given point watching live on Twitch with tons of super popular streamers such as Summit1G, XQC, and a ton, ton more playing on it, figuring it out, and obviously having a ton of fun on it. And in turn, a ton of non-streamer or just regular people have also gotten into GTA 5 roleplay. And I know, especially on my side, have been having a ton of fun with it these past couple years. But recently, in around October of 2018, Rockstar, of course, the company that created GTA 5, had released Red Dead Redemption 2, the much-awaited sequel to the critically acclaimed game Red Dead Redemption. Soon after the release of Red Dead Redemption 2, to the same people who made the 5M mod that is what a lot of the most popular streamers play on to play GTA 5 roleplay had released a similar version of it called Red M. Now with Red M of course similar to GTA 5 you were able to create custom servers for roleplay uh, just custom lobbies and more. Now, of course, with this, the most popular version of it, as it was with GTA, is of course going to be the roleplay aspect. And from what I've seen and what I personally played on, it is absolutely amazing. GTA, of course, everything's a lot more fast paced and in general, a lot less serious and just a lot more fun here and there. Just kind of messing around with friends, doing bank heists, this or that. But from my time playing on Red Dead Redemption 2 roleplay servers, it is a lot more serious, a lot more story based and overall a ton of fun and as i was looking around i couldn't seem to find anyone making any videos going over some of the best red dead redemption 2 servers out there so i figured i would make one and show you guys some of the best ones out there and some ones you may want to check out now a while ago of course red m had released but the servers weren't really there yet but after all my time playing on a couple various servers such as gold rush and the just rp red dead redemption 2 roleplay servers i can tell you that red m is definitely in a good state date now and I definitely recommend trying it out especially if you were into westerns as a kid just like I was unfortunately though since it is still very new there aren't a ton of good servers out there so I thought I would spend some time compile a list of a couple that I thought would meet those standards and show them to you guys of course now again there are only around four servers mentioned in this video that is because again there are not a ton of good Red Dead Redemption 2 servers out there but again I figured these are some that you might want to check out so again let's get right into it starting off with Wild RP so starting again with Wild RP this is one of the very popular ones although it's very hard to get into they have a very advanced whitelist process even sometimes including or asking for you to actually record your voice with different voice for different characters you may do write quite a complicated backstory and a various amount of different questions this again in terms of rp would be one of the highest quality servers out there just because of the super strict whitelist process the server itself obviously is very very popular with a ton of of big YouTubers and streamers playing on it. One of my favorites actually being Vertigo Gaming and another big streamer that does play on the server is Mr. Moon. If you've seen any of his videos in the past, you know that he has some amazing RP. And again, of course, with this very strict whitelist application, you only get the highest of the highest tier RPers on this server. So if you're looking for something that's very, very serious RP with a ton of quality people on it, I definitely recommend checking out Wild RP. It's definitely worth it once you get in as everyone's RP as I've said multiple times is top tier and of course there are those big youtubers and streamers who do play on it and you might run into some of them here and there they also do have their own wild rp youtube channel that has some amazing made trailers teasers showcases and more if you want a little bit more information about the server as this is of course a server that i have not personally played in but i've just heard a ton of good reviews about it i definitely recommend checking it out especially if you have some real voice acting talent and are looking for some very very high quality rp and to make some really crazy stories with a lot of very talented individuals. Again, that's going to be pretty much it for Wild RP since I have not played on it personally, so I don't have a ton of stuff I can say about it. But again, I just do know that a ton of the big YouTubers and anyone who's looking for some very, very serious story-driven content and RP, this is the one for you. Now, again, let's move on to the one that I mostly play on in my time on the Red M platform, and that would be Gold Rush Roleplay. 
So again, now on to one of my personal favorites, and again, one of the ones that I most play on, Gold Rush Roleplay. Now, this is one of the main servers again that I do play on, and I have been playing on for quite a while. It has, from my personal experience, amazing roleplay, scripts, jobs with a pretty damn unique amount of them and overall quite the amazing team of devs and staff to keep it running and keep it running well the server is also a public server so no need to bother with any of those whitelist applications you can just join the discord and teamspeak right away and be able to connect create a character and get right into the role play i also will be coming out with a guide about how to join and get started on gold rush rp so make sure to look out for that as well in the future and if you want to see it when it comes out make sure to hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified on all of my new releases there is also a vast amount of different characters you'll run into while playing on gold rush rp that make the world feel really alive and really make the server unique from a girl who became a troll and likes to live under bridges to natives who take their rituals and territory very seriously trust me we've dealt with them before it was quite scary and quite a couple outlaw gangs that whole cities will sometimes come together to fight Fight against and you know of course protect their hometown there's also a ton of amazing role players on the server and especially for being a public one a very very low amount of poor rp again that's just from my opinion though and from my personal experience i don't think i've run into a single player breaking any rules or messing up their rp or being somehow unimmersive of yet which is amazing for a public server very very hard to keep that like that but again the staff team really is on top of it everyone stays super in character and it really is an amazing immersive experience experience. There are also plenty of options whether you want to become the town's local gunsmith, run a saloon, become a lawman, or get more into the ton of criminal activities such as moonshining, growing some more illicit crops if you know what I mean, robbing banks, stores, and a ton more. There's tons of hidden features and a ton of ones that are pretty upfront both criminally and of course legally. And something really cool about Red Dead RP as a whole, not just specifically this one server, is if you don't want to be a criminal or a cop you can still have a ton of fun just being a normal civilian i believe for the most part on our series i've been pretty much all legal on the gold rush server so far you know a little bit of this and that here and there and i've been having an absolutely blast of a time so definitely recommend it out there's also an absolute ton of content on this server with even more unique features such as custom quests for gangs that actually show good rp to the server events and activities run by the community constantly have happening almost every day and again there's an overall amazing server i definitely recommend checking it out or checking out some of my videos or some of the people that do stream on gold rush rp there is a ton of amazing people on there and again this is a very very nice server to get started on and have a ton of fun with but again i'm trying to do these as fast as i can so that's going to be about it for the gold rush rp server next one up is going to be of course the just rp red Dead redemption 2 roleplay server so again, let's get into that and go through that one real quick. Now, with this next one, before we go any further, I do want to just put it out there that I am a tad biased, or at least it may seem I am a tad biased towards the Just RP Red Dead server, as I am staff on both the Just RP GTA as well as our Red Dead server. But I will try and give my best unbiased opinion of the server as I can. So the server is actually one of the more recently released servers that we just released it, I believe, a month or two ago. But with the consistent almost daily updates and fixes the server is really growing quite fast and also creating quite an amazing community along with it now even though it is quite new in terms of servers we are now starting to hit our player cap of 80 quite often almost daily at this point and maybe we'll even expand the slots in the future if it continues to grow at its current rate now similar to the gold rush server as well as wild rp there are of course a ton of different features with a bit of a just rp spin on them of course on the criminal side on the just rp server a lot of these criminal activities are very well hidden and especially since the server is so new if you are one of the few people to figure them out surely make sure to keep that info quite close to you as since again i said the server is in its early stages there is a ton of potential for new players coming in to either control the various illegal activities and of course 
course maybe even sell the info on how to do them there is a lot of room to get some of the more main jobs or take control over some of the businesses in various towns such as blacksmiths gunsmiths saloon owners horse trainers and breeders and a ton ton more the just rp red dead server is currently a public server but there may be plans soon to go to a whitelist process so if you want to get into the server i definitely recommend getting in now before you have to go through that whole process or at least just hop on the server for a little bit and make sure you're going to be okay if we do end up going whitelist and again if you do get in early now there's a ton of unowned or unoperated businesses that you as a player early on in the stages of the server could take control over and maybe even build a community around the various different towns there are some amazing rpers that play on the server as well as ton of players are also streaming it daily so if you are part of the just rp discord make sure to check them out again this is a server i really do recommend if you're looking for one that again is not too developed yet and you're looking to help develop a server and or develop i guess a storyline of your own and possibly have a lot of opportunities to create some really cool businesses if you're on that side or again control some of the illicit activities before anyone else has a chance to figure them out definitely one i would check out we have all of the similar features to gold rush and wild rp we have a quite in-depth crafting guide for each one of the individual jobs as well as different ranks so as you move up through the different various legal jobs you're able to create new crafting recipes and a whole ton more so i definitely recommend of course checking out the just rp red dead redemption 2 roleplay server as i said before again it is public so make sure to get in now if you want to before having to write a pesky whitelist application but again that's going to be about it for just rp again trying to go through these as quickly as i can and as concise as i can hopefully that is nice for you guys as well so you don't have to watch a huge long video and you can kind of get a sense of each and every server but the last server that we are going to be talking about is old west rp so let's go into that right now the final server we are going to be talking about in this video is going to be old west rp so first of all let me give you kind of a brief overview of the server and then i will say my reasons personally why this is on my list and is one of these servers that i'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on so starting off the server i only heard about very recently actually but is another one of the few currently out red dead redemption 2 roleplay servers with a pretty consistent player base with around seemingly around 40 players or so during the off hours and hitting the 80 player cap from around 6 p.m EST. Now, personally, similar to Wild RP, I personally have yet to play on this server, but have heard quite a couple good things from it from various different streamers as well as different members of the community over there. In terms of Red Dead Redemption 2 RP servers, I believe this one seems to be one of the very close-knit communities and also gets quite a few updates here and there and seem like they have some pretty, pretty good devs. I do also believe that the team over at Old West RP is currently working on a 2.0 version of the server, and even though it seems very early in the progress, they actually have it so their GitHub is public, so you can see what they are working on and what seems to be done already. So this is pretty cool for the community, you, they can actually see the live development of the server and how it's coming together although from what i checked out it doesn't seem like much is done yet so it might be quite a while before this server is one that's really worth your time but is definitely one to keep in mind the server is also of course a public server currently with no whitelist application but it does seem like on their website that they do have plans to possibly implement one in the future even though this server still seems to be quite in development i believe once their 2.0 is completely ready for release if they do have all the features that they are promising it's going to be definitely one to keep an eye on now now that we're done with talking about old west rp on the red dead redemption 2 roleplay what we're going to be talking about is what really interests me about this server and that is their z west server that's going to be run from the same people but it's basically going to be a zombie survival version of red dead redemption uh, on the red m client this is not going to be an rp server so this is a little off topic from what we were talking about but i think it's a very very cool idea i don't believe it's completely ready yet i believe it was up 
for a while but they ended up taking it down and are currently working on it to make it a very very good version and i believe if they actually do get through this and they somehow create this server i think it is personally in my opinion going to be one of the most popular non roleplay servers out there on the red m client if not the most popular now i'm not sure if you guys ever played the old undead nightmare version of red dead redemption but it is basically hopefully going to be kind of modeled after that with obviously a lot of changes since it all is going to be built on scripts but if you guys remember those days of playing undead nightmare on red dead redemption the original and having a ton of fun with that trust me i did i honestly probably had more fun with the undead nightmare mode than the normal mode back when i was playing red dead redemption the original and again i am very excited for this server if they can actually do what they're setting out to do i believe they want to have a lot of things such as quests uh good and evil system curses in different ways a trading system they're gonna have elite zombies different hordes world bosses legendary adventures you can go on uh they're gonna have events that go on such as king of the hill capture the flag and a bunch of other things and a ton of different building systems if they can actually get all of this done and make it actually work i think this will be an insane server and i will definitely be playing on it so that is another thing to keep an eye on is the z west portion of this kind of server cluster so definitely keep an eye on both the old west server as well as the z west as i think both of them are very promising and i will definitely be keeping tabs on them and if they ever do release the z west version or whenever i guess it does release i will 100 percent be making a video on it because again i think it can be something very very unique and very very cool and that we haven't really seen in the red m community just yet but again I think that's gonna be about it for old west rp and actually about it for this video now hopefully me showing you guys these couple servers will help you find one that better suits your play style as well as just kind of help you check out some servers in general as i said before near the beginning of this video because there isn't really any videos out there going over many of the various red m roleplay servers so hopefully this has helped you find your server and if you do enjoy and actually have fun on whatever server you do definitely let me know in the comments section below but without further ado if you guys did enjoy the video as always make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video